Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM. Uh, they modded this kit in 170 second scale as it's written here and it copies MiG-25 RBF, it's Soviet reconnaissance plane and now we have a chance to check commercial samples so it means you get exactly the same kit if you order it from any good model shop. I think Modelli Max should have them for sure so if you would like to order it ASAP just go to their website, they will have it available. So, as you can see, that's just another version of the MiG-25 kit. Uh, this time we get it in a small scale, so it will be interesting for those who don't have space for 148 scale kit, and I'm not even mentioning the 132nd scale kit of this aircraft. Nevertheless, uh, it is interesting to see what is changed here, what is inside, because you remember we reviewed only several versions and now let's take a look at this box so first of all here is comparison with my hand it's not that big box i would say it's a typical size of the box for uh, 170 second scale aircraft kits and also for 135 scale kits from icm then here on the side we have some information about this kit so there are uh, 139 ports and length of the assembled Aircraft will be 315 millimeters. Here you can see also short history note in English and On the other side we can see two profiles for the same marking option Which is depicted here on the box art. So now let's open it um, the box structure here is typical So as you can see we have this color printed uh, Let's say cover and then here you can see the cardboard box which actually protects everything inside Inside we have um, all sprues packed into the same plastic bag, they're molded out of light grey plastic. And then on the bottom we have assembly manual, but we'll check assembly manual later of course. So we just put this box here and we start with plastic parts. So here we have all grey plastic sprues as well as this transparent one. So just give me a second to open it. Meanwhile, let me remind you that we are still getting money for the new photo and video equipment and you can help us too by pressing the donate button on our website. It is quite easy and safe because it's done via PayPal and of course you will be the one who will decide how much we will get for new photo and video equipment or maybe for another kit um, to be reviewed in our video and also in the article. So, the first let's say connection between the spruce, here it is. As you can see, um, manufacturer here decided to place the nose cone halves and also some parts for the air intake and also engine nozzles. Note that no, no nose cone should be glued out of two halves. I am not that happy to see such parts division, even though as far as I remember, there are guiding pins inside, so at least they will help you with alignment. But still you have to be careful while gluing these two parts together because otherwise you might have the seams in a quite visible area, I would say. And now let's zoom in so that you can see all those parts closer. So we do the zoom section. Okay, so that was the first, let's say, set of the frames. Nevertheless, we have next ones. Here we have wing parts, and note that wing parts, there are, um, their parts division is a bit unusual because we have two halves for each side. Here you can see all the parts, let's zoom in a bit. And 
External detailing here is typical, we have recessed panel lines and also separate wing mechanization. And as far as I remember, inside we have guiding elements in form of guiding pins and also guiding edges. But now we are going to do the zoom mode so that you can see everything closer with your own eyes. Okay, be careful with these sections on the wings because as you can see they are pre-molded so you will have to separate this house with them already in place. Um, next we have another plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to mix of various parts because here you will find both external and internal parts. We have here landing gear wheels, for example engine nozzle, uh, but then we have the dashboard, the dashboard combing, then here we also had somewhere the play parts. Those, for example, are for landing gear parts. So it is mishmash, let's say, of the parts. But now let's do the zoom mode so that you can see all those parts closer. Because some of them are quite interesting. As you might have noticed uh, in the wheels, in the landing gear wheels, we have also, um, let's say, the special raised surface, but there are no guiding pins, so you have to be careful while combining this, or maybe just search for some aftermarket resin, which will bring you the better detailing as a nice bonus, let's say. Next, we have um, another gray plastic sprue. This one will be slightly bigger, just let me put the previous one in place. So here it is. I think it should be like this. 
here manufacturer placed uh, fuselage ports and also some of the wing mechanization ports and as you can see whole tail segment elements or panels are molded separately and note that tail fins should be glued out of two halves we have also riveting and recess panel lines riveting can be visible here for example now then inside you can see here detailing of the wheel wells and also note that air intakes are detailed as well we have small piece of the plastic i'm not sure why um, nevertheless molding quality seems to be fine so let's do the zoom mode so that you can see it with your own eyes just give me a second to clean everything from the dust okay And we have one more grey plastic sprue left. This one is obviously dedicated to fuselage panels because whole fuselage should be glued out of separate panels. Um, otherwise it is not possible to copy the fuselage of MiG-25. And here you can see it. So we have the lower half and we also have the top half. Just let me clean them again from the dust. I guess that's uh, static electricity makes it own magic. So that's why we just clean a bit them and here you can see them. So external detailing is the same as what we saw on the previous part. So it means recess panel lines and also riveting. Here you can see parts for the nose section. So nose cone will be assembled out of two parts. And also the nose section or cockpit section will be also glued out of two parts. So be ready for such parts division. Then from the other side we can see that there are some guiding elements which should help you with alignment. So at least we have this because otherwise it could be even worse. Now let's zoom in and take a look at all those parts.
So as I said before, that was the last gray plastic sprue. And we have one more. This one is smaller, noticeably smaller than what we saw before. Here you can see that it's a clear plastic sprue. Just give me a second to open it and we will take a closer look. Here, of course, we have canopy parts. Just let me zoom in. Now we focus the camera. So, as I said, we have focus um, on the canopy parts. And note that canopy parts are molded like a two-piece assembly, so you will be able to copy the open cockpit on your aircraft, and that's a really valuable feature in such small scale, because not everybody includes uh, two-piece canopy assemblies. Nevertheless, masks are not included here, so you have to be careful while you know, cutting masks for those parts, or maybe search for some aftermarket set, because this aircraft has quite a complex layout of those clear sections, so it's maybe it's better to invest in the clear um, masking set. Okay, next we have assembly manual, and I guess there will be also the decals sheet. So here you can see assembly manual, this one is printed in form of this large brochure. We have short history note written in Russian and English, also technical specifications, and the paints chart here. Then we turn the page over. Here we have parts map. And note that parts map shows that all those parts will be used. That is quite surprising in my opinion. Here we have first uh, decals sheet. This one is dedicated to stencils. As you can see amount is quite impressive. All those will have to be applied on the aircraft. But once you apply all of them on your model it will be a completely different model because now, these small decals noticeably change the appearance of your model. Nevertheless, there is also the second decals sheet, which one, um, which is dedicated to main symbols for several marking options. We also have decal for the dashboard, and unfortunately, no decals for the seat belts. So either you have to buy the aftermarket set, or you will have to do it uh, out of masking tape, for example. Next, we have also another page or another section of the uh, parts map. Note that clear parts won't be used here because those uh, clear sections for the camera were not present on the RBF version. Also, we have some parts not used here. And assembly process starts with side panel for the cockpit, then we continue with wall and then we install the nose landing gear. As you can see, it will be already fixed in the uh, nose wheel well. So be careful and keep in mind such parts division. Then here we continue with pilot seat assembly and its installation into the cockpit. And maybe some others would like to replace it with a resin. It will be up to you. Here we install this nose section into the special panel which connects everything with air intakes. Here you can see those air intakes being assembled and installed in place from both sides. And then we continue with those large fuselage panels. Here we will have to glue the wheel wells and again each wheel well should be glued out of several parts. The same can be said about the engine air intakes. Here you can see their installation and then all those complex assemblies are connected together. That is quite interesting process. I'm not sure how it will work, uh, but from what I saw on the model shows, models look good, so I guess there won't be any difficulty with this. Then here we continue with winding gear legs. We close everything with side panels from both sides. Then here we have the engine nozzles. I'm quite sure that there should be some resin upgrade for this section of the airplane, so if you would like to have better detailing in such small scale, search for some aftermarket resin. But even out of the box kit offering offers really nice um, molded plastic parts. Here we continue with tail fins. So as you remember, each tail fin should be glued out of two halves, and here we also install the rudders, which are also molded separately. Note that here we have option for the, uh, the choice between several parts. It will depend on which marking option you choose, so be sure to keep in mind which one you picked for your build. Here we install the main wings. Also note that main wing should be assembled out of one, two, three, four parts. And here we have five, six. These are pylons for missiles, I guess. 
And next we continue with nose cone. Neck here. We install the landing gear doors, landing gear wheels. Fuel tank. Canopy port. The frontal section together with the target side. And then we have the openable canopy section and as you can see it can be placed either in open or in closed but in open you have to add one plastic part which was present on the real aircraft. And in total you have to do 80 steps. Here you can see a picture of the finished aircraft. Then we have the stencil guide and in 170 second scale that will be quite fun to apply all those decals on the aircraft. Uh, here we have first marking option, this one comes from August 2001, surprisingly. Here you can see also German aircraft from 1991, and this one comes from Russia as well, it's 2001. So it will be up to you which one you choose, obviously this camouflaged version looks really interesting. So if you would like to have uh, something unusual in small scale, it might be... Uh, you know, what's a engaging option to build. So of course this kit is already available as I said you can get it in Modelimex web shop for sure. In my opinion this plastic will be interesting for those who don't have place for 148 scale kit that's for sure and those who like Soviet jet aircrafts. Uh, of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that I will see you in the next videos as well. And of course we see each other in the next video tomorrow. Bye.